Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. At the heart of modern industry, automation, and even, dare I say, modern society is connectivity. I mean, seriously, what would the past couple of years have looked like without our ability to connect? And I'm not just talking about people. I mean, devices, controllers, machines, sensors, the cloud. Connectivity is what drives the modern world. Well, now we've got a new Micromod function board that will allow fast, simple, and secure Ethernet connectivity on single cable rooms of up to 1,000 meters. Introducing the new SparkFun Micromod Single Pair Ethernet Function Board. The Micromod Single Pair Ethernet Function Board utilizes the ADIN1110 Ethernet transceiver from analog devices, a 10 base T1L IEEE standard 802.3CG 2019 compliant transceiver with single pair Ethernet transmission at speeds up to 10 megabits per second over a distance of up to a kilometer. Reduce that distance to 40 meters and that speed can top a gig. It'll accept a supply voltage of 1.8 or 3.3 volts, while the function board runs the ADIN1110 at 3.3 volts with 2.4 volt transmission amplitude. It uses integrated MAC connects via SPI and supports 16 MAC addresses and supports both generic and open alliance SPI protocols. We're also offering a kit. The SparkFun Single Pair Ethernet Kit includes two Micromod Single Pair Ethernet Function Boards, two Micromod Main Boards, those are the single boards, one Micromod Artemis Processor, one Micromod ESP32 Processor, one half meter Single Pair Ethernet Shielded Cable, and one Micromod Screwdriver. Okay, so there was a lot to ingest there, so let me break some of it down. Uh, first, if you're not familiar with it, Micromod is our solderless modular interface ecosystem that uses the M.2 standard to allow you to mix and match your choice of processor with specific function boards or standalone carrier boards. By using one of our main boards, you can mix and match processor boards and function boards in any combination your project requires, while our carrier boards are focused on specific capabilities by providing access to focused peripherals and functionality into which you can connect any of our processor boards. Now let's talk about Single Pair Ethernet, or SPE, uh, specifically in our case, 10Base T1L SPE, and how it compares to Ethernet as we generally know it. We started with fast Ethernet, and that required two pairs of twisted cables, one to transmit and one to receive, and was capable of speeds of about 100 megabits per second. Uh, after that came gigabit Ethernet. Now this requires four pairs of twisted cables, each pair being able to transmit and receive, and is capable of speeds from 250 megabits per second up to about 2.5 gigs per second. Now, single pair Ethernet, as the name implies, only requires a single pair of twisted cable, which can both transmit and receive, and it is capable of speeds from 10 megabits per second up to over one gigabit per second. Now, what's the difference and why the big range in speeds for single pair Ethernet? Well, the difference is distance. While gigabit Ethernet is generally capable of runs up to about 100 meters, with single pair Ethernet, you can get runs up to a kilometer. That is 1,000 meters, 10 times what you can get from gigabit Ethernet. And SPE will run at speeds of up to a gigabit per second for lengths of up to 40 meters, with gradual attenuation after that. But the ability to do 1,000 meter runs without the need for a network switch is game changing. And because it uses a quarter of the copper that gigabit ethernet uses, that means a reduction in weight and size and smaller bending radii. This can be huge for the automotive industry, as well as manufacturing automation, where you've got dozens or even hundreds of machines and sensors that all need their own cable run. Now, with the libraries and examples we've written, set up for this is a breeze. Here's a basic sensor example. A BME 280 at one end, simple visual output on the other, and the SPE cable simply clicks in on both ends. And here's another cool thing about single pair ethernet. You can easily swap out connectors. So if you're already running single pair ethernet using IP67 connectors, and you want to integrate our SPE function boards, which use IP20 connectors, you can simply cut off the IP67 connector at one end and replace it with an IP20. Easy peasy. While single pair ethernet has been around for about seven years in automotive and industrial settings, we're thrilled to be able to bring it to you now in a simple to use affordable package. Is SPE the perfect solution for every situation? Probably not. Is it the perfect solution for your situation? Well, if you need gigabit ethernet speed with reduced weight and size, it just might be. So head on over to sparkfun.com and check out the new SparkFun Micromod single pair ethernet function board or the Micromod Single Pair Ethernet Kit. And of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking.
Now let's talk about single pair. Sorry, there's some wildlife flying around. Is there? Yeah. If you still need gigabit, gigabit. Well, if you need gigabit internet speed, Ethernet speed. Well, if you need gigabit internet, Ethernet, Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet. Well, now we're introducing a new way. What are we introducing? Introducing the new SparkFun MicroMod single pair Ethernet function board.